Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you are here. I have always enjoyed fashion. I have always enjoyed dressing up. And I feel like in the last two years, I lost a little bit of myself because I felt like we're not really going anywhere. We're not really doing anything. So what's the point? This year, I really felt like I want to change. I want to feel good again. I want to dress well for myself, even if I'm only going to work. And that's why I started the ch this channel. And I want to show you um, different outfits. I want to show you how to feel good. And yeah, I just want to share you my kind of outfit inspirations, my style, and maybe you can uh, get something out of it and create your own beautiful looks. So as you can see by the title, I went shopping to H&M. You can go shopping to all these fast fashion brands and still be sustainable if you actually wear the clothes, if you take good care of them, if you repair them if something goes wrong. So I definitely don't see a problem going fast fashion shopping when you do it consciously. With that being said, today I went shopping uh, for three different looks. And the challenge was to get all of these outfits under 100 euros. But luckily for me, H&M was so cheap and it had some discounts that actually most of my outfits were even under 50 euros. Uh, I couldn't include any accessories or jewelry because uh, they wouldn't let me take it to the changing room but that just means that there's more budget for accessories and you can really make it your own i really wanted to show you and focus on the actual clothes um but yeah let's go and see how it went let's start with the first category which is work uh, category let's start with the first look that i chose for work which is kind of casual but of course it depends a lot on what kind of office you work in and uh, what do you do? In my office there is really no dress code, we are allowed to wear jeans and all of that. Let me show you a bit closer. Here is the blazer, which is very nice and warm material, which is why I chose it, because we are in the winter time. I really like the button details, I like uh, the way it fits, um, I would say. And since the blazer is kind of the centerpiece, I really wanted to have all the other pieces very neutral. Just took a white oversized t-shirt and these jeans. I have to say I hate them with all my heart. They really fit me so badly, although probably they look okay. Um, but they fit me here in my waist and everywhere. But since I have a little bit of a thicker thigh, it is just impossible for me to bend or do anything. I cannot imagine like sitting in them in the office. I'm not allowed to take any jewelry into the dressing room, but ideally I would add uh, some necklace here, uh, probably a golden one that would kind of make it a little bit more dressed up. Here is the look number two that I would wear to the office. Let's start with the shirt. It's just quite basic cotton shirt, but I really like the stripes. I feel like it just makes the whole look look elegant and put together. Maybe I would add a red lip with this look since it is quite dark. I just tucked it into the pants and left it a little bit out. So, you know, it's a relaxed, casual fit. And I paired it with a black, like wider leg uh, pants which are really comfortable. I think I would have to size up one size because they are a little bit tight here, again, on the thighs, but that's a problem that I run into literally every time I shop. But they are really nice quality. I like these like ruched details here. Uh, like I said, the leg is a little bit wider and I feel like this outfit is just so chic, so comfortable, it fits to any work environment, whether you work in a more casual or in a more dressed up office. For shoes, I would probably take something a bit colorful, maybe even a heel, a red heel, maybe a red bag to give it a little bit more color. But overall, really, really like this look. Here is the third look that I chose, of course. Again, a blazer is just like a statement piece. I feel like blazers fit for every occasion, but I love wearing them for work. To be honest, I don't love it on me. I just feel like it's a little bit too boxy. I like to wear more fitted, and this is a size S, which is my normal size, but it just feels huge and not so flattering. But I feel like on camera it still looks okay, and I know there are people that like this kind of a look. And of course, this is the centerpiece of the outfit. I paired it with a basic, uh, like beige turtleneck. Uh, what I like about this turtleneck is that it is a body, so you can tuck it in nicely into your pants. Don't have to worry about it rolling up and down and 
it's just really comfortable it's nice and thin material and then I chose these black kind of jeans uh, which again I just absolutely hate I'm like suffocating yes I need a bigger size but um, I just feel like finding jeans in H&M for me personally is such a problem I'm a tall girl I have wider hips I have wider thighs and if I size up too much then it fits in my thighs but then I have this weird gap in the back or it doesn't fit in my waist and vice versa if it fits in the waist then it just doesn't look good on me um, so yeah I've never bought jeans in H&M and I probably never will but I do like blazers and tops and stuff like that but of course we cannot take all three outfits with us uh, so we have to make a choice Personally, for me, I would choose my second outfit, which was the stripy t-shirt with wide leg pants. Uh, why I would choose this one over any other ones um, is because this one, like I said, I just don't like the way it fits me. And uh, the first outfit, I feel like I just have something super similar at home. I think you all can recreate the outfit. I have a black blazer, a white t-shirt and a basic pair of jeans. Um, and I think it just looks good, but again, I wouldn't buy something that I already have. I hope you like the work uh, outfits. Um, let me know what you thought about each of them. Now, the second category is casual, everyday outfits, maybe weekend outfits, something that you really feel comfortable in. I also tried on three different outfits, but one was definitely my favorite. First outfit that I chose is obviously like more very casual, very chill stay at home to be honest i would wear it outside uh, if it would fit me better but um, i love these pants they are so soft they are so flowy but they are a bit big and i that's what i hate about h&m is that i keep taking the same sizes but depending on this on the thing um, sometimes it's too small sometimes it's too tight sometimes it's too big uh, so you really have to try every single item on, which is why I don't do online shopping. And this hoodie has overall a great idea. It's not supposed to be tucked in, but I just feel like it we feel looks super weird. Wait, let me take it out and show you how it actually looks like. It is just, again, way too big on me. And I feel like since the pants are already so loose, uh, so basic or if I have this also so loose it just I lose the whole shape and it's not flattering But it is very comfy. I mean if you just want to chill at home and do nothing It's great, but overall I would say this outfit is more of a fail. I Imagined it to be a little bit cuter. I like matching outfits and I love this cozy comfy look I love that we can the society accepts now that we can actually go out like this. I would probably pair it with sneakers and put like a puffer jacket or something on top but yeah uh, unfortunately it is a fail this is the second outfit that i chose for my casual category i absolutely love this outfit from head to toe um, i love this cardigan i love the color it is super soft literally a very very good uh, piece if you are interested I took a size M, although normally I wear a size S on the tops, but I just like this a bit oversized, relaxed look. It just feels really comfortable. I tucked it in, but you can see uh, it's also a regular length if you don't like them to be shorter. And for the bottoms, I chose these kind of like paper bag jeans. I went a size up because I already know that I don't want to suffocate, I want to feel comfortable and although they look quite nice, I think they are not the most flattering on the back um, but I don't know, I just have the same issue over and over again I feel like they are slightly big on the top um, and I still feel like they are tight here they are not so tight that I couldn't be couldn't wear them but overall I would highly 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 recommend this uh, cardigan it is amazing color again and feels so springy and so nice and lastly outfit number three uh, that I chose is this jumpsuit first comment I have to give is that it is very comfortable and actually fits quite okay but I also feel like I kind of am um, going to safari and or I'm going to fight someone I don't know I don't think I would wear something like this out it's kind of loud so if you're walking around you're like giving a lot of attention to yourself 
Um, but yeah, it's a good option to know if you like it. Uh, of course, everything will be linked down below. So if I had to choose one outfit from this category, it would definitely be again outfit number two. I just love this cardigan. It fits perfectly the assignment that I gave for myself, which is uh, chill, casual, comfy. Um, I can imagine have chilling in this outfit the whole evening, um, the whole Sunday day. But I can also imagine uh, going out with it, going uh, to meet a friend, grab a coffee, and you can really dress it up and down depending on your accessories, etc. And last but not least, the last category, which is very exciting category for me, is um, going on a date, going out with friends look. It was really hard for me to actually find something that I would wear on a date night or going out. I don't know why the whole vibe of the shop was very casual, kind of more office. They had a lot of good office looks, casual looks, but for going out I just didn't find anything. And uh, as you can have a sneak peek, I absolutely hate the first dress that I chose. Um, let me show you. Um, I will keep it very brief because I just don't want you to see, you in, see me in this look. I just feel like I'm some 80 year old woman wearing a sleeping dress. It has some nice sparkles I guess and even a, I feel like even a belt would not really save it. I just I find it so unflattering but it was one of the few dresses that I could find. Uh, so again another very very deep fail. Let's go to outfit number two. Again, not a big fan. It is really out of my comfort zone. I really don't like wearing that many prints and I don't know. I feel like it ages me. It's not really flattering. It hits me at a weird length. The color is weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm overreacting again, but I just don't like it <laughs> I definitely wouldn't wear it, wear it uh, on a date or something. I just feel like it's a little bit out of my age group and yeah. Another fail. I hope the last outfit is a little bit better otherwise this whole category for me is an epic fail but that is life. That's exactly what happens when you're shopping so let's see. And this is my look number three. Uh, already I can say that this is the best one out of all three outfits um, that I tried on. Um, would I actually be that hyped up if um, I was shopping for myself? No, I would not really buy any of the outfits. I think the skirt is quite good looking but it's just it's like three sizes bigger than my normal size and somehow it's still tight and I feel like it's just super short like it cannot bend or anything. Of course I would wear tights and like a nice heel with it um, and the dress the shirt is nice I like the sleeve it's very soft it is very like wanna keep touching the material um, I think overall the fit is quite good um, it's not too bad if I pose it looks okay so this was my shopping experience I hope you enjoyed it I hope you saw something that you would be interested for yourself you got some outfit inspirations if you want to see more outfits and just get to know me better, get in touch with me, then follow me on Instagram and let me know which shop should I go to next.